Hey guys, here for another video, and again, I still sound like I have a dick stuck in my throat. I'm still fucking sick, so again, if the energy is low, if I maybe curse out a bitch, if I talk too much shit more than usual, it's because I'm in a bad mood. I swear to God, this is probably how having AIDS feels like. So today we're going to look at uh, a girl that was on Fresh and Fit, and I'm going to try to do that like once a week where... There's like I watch Fresh and Fit because I need background noise when I'm working. I need to hear women deserve less every 30 minutes while I'm crunching fucking numbers because it does get depressing. And a lot of what they say is rooted in truth, right? Like masculine women aren't attractive. Uh, I know some people like it, but in general, you'd want a woman that's feminine. You'd want a woman that doesn't say much. You want a woman that's more submissive, not completely stupid. Uh, and this girl we're looking at has uh, something I like to call DBD. Uh, you're like, well, what's DBD? Some people have ADD, but girls that are really stupid, I say have DBD. That stands for dumb bitch disease. Uh, horrible disease, you see it be contaminated amongst most western women obviously it's me being sarcastic but this specific girl uh, and you see it a lot in the fresh and fit podcast where they're just like actually legitimately stupid and listen i don't care you don't gotta be a smart person but for me if they're like there are some people that are as dumb as a rock like they just can't comprehend they have no critical thinking now i don't care if you know calculus i don't care if you know fucking biology i don't care if you know how to operate a fucking human but i do care that you have some critical thinking skills so i can actually have a conversation with you i can actually talk i can actually debate i can actually have meaningful back and forth and this is one of those girls that as i'm pretty sure i'm gonna diagnose her with dbd because this bitch is dumb as fuck so the clip i'm gonna play uh and i think it's pretty worthwhile watching this wasn't a fresh and fit uh i think last week it was in that last thoughts and uh this girl was saying that the podcast was misogynist uh and i again i've seen this in real life too where i'll tell girls that i'm like occasionally i'll go out on dates i should i need to do a, 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 i need to stream a tinder date so you guys can see how i am irl i'm the same way just a little bit more trolly i'll just ask a girl so what do you think about andrew tate or I'll say, do you think women deserve lefts? And they'll just be like, oh no, that's so misogynistic. And then I'll ask, well, what does misogynistic mean? They can't define it. And this girl is definitely, uh, you know, a perfect like type of, I guess, a good case study to look at to see what type of girl, uh, you know. And I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I see this a lot. It's, I'm not gonna lie, with pretty girls, they can afford to be stupid. So uh, let's watch this clip. I definitely think it's worth watching. And then we're just gonna get into her. Define misogyny. Oh my God. Um. Oh my god. Placing men above women. Is I that guess. your final answer? <laughs> oh my god. Um, oh my god. Maybe a little bit. Please, so what is, okay, so what is the definition of misogyny then? Come on, give us your final answer. Uh, placing the importance of men above the importance of women. <laughs> no, it's the hatred and or contempt of women. So what did we say that was misogynistic? Please explain. Please tell us. Oh my god, seriously. Oh my god. <laughs> Please tell us what was misogynistic. I don't know. Oh my god. It's, it's... So you made a claim that you can't even back up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You stupid. How's that misogynistic? Just like you prefer a man that has money. When you take a man with small dick? Because I, was, I wasn't picking. You're picking. Okay. You're but picking women, in general, women in general prefer wealthy men. Men in general prefer younger women. Okay. Is that misandristic for a woman to prefer a wealthy man? Okay, so why is it misogynistic for a man to prefer a younger woman? It's not. Just See, facts. you just made yourself look stupid. You stupid. Uh, uh, bro, I'm a, you, yo, honestly, no offense, you're lucky you're pretty because you're dumb as fuck. But yeah. anyway, we'll move on. You <laughs> like, are. That's exactly what I mean. You're like, saying that I'm stupid because I'm pretty. That's no, you are stupid. You are stupid, though. Yeah, you are like, stupid. Like, objectively I speaking. That. I yeah. got really good grades, like no, straight A's. That does not, that, that like does in college, not, at least. That does not equate to higher IQ at all or the ability to comprehend anything or have competence. No offense. No. You're very cute, but you are dumb as hell. So that clip, as we can see, uh, shout out to Myron for maintaining frame. I think a lot of guys uh, don't maintain frame with pretty girls because they want to get the box. And I get it. I always say, if you just want to like bang a hoe, go ahead, put on the mask. I've done it before. It works like a fucking charm. Like I, I think I told a story in one of my older videos where one of my old IDs, they fucked. I used to work at a hospital in analytics, but they fuck, fucked up my ID and said that I was a surgeon. 
you do not know how much pussy I got just from that. Again, I, I'm not, well, I, I should say I was decent looking a couple years ago, like six years ago. I used to work out a lot. Personally, I think I look like a model, but uh, yes, your boy got fat. But again, the fact that if you're a decent looking good uh, dude and you have a good status job and you have money and you can kind of talk to females, you don't got to have like the Riz, you don't have to have the ultimate fucking game, but if you can have a de semi-decent conversation and you have status, you can do a lot of things. Uh, but again, that goes with the whole point of maintaining frame and kind of being a better man. So again, avoid that type of girl. So we're going to go into social media and then just dive right into her OnlyFans. And hopefully, uh, again, I'm just trying to track a little bit of a different audience. So maybe we can see what these people are up to because it's so interesting to see them in a podcast say, I'm an independent woman. I do this. I do that. Women empowerment. Misog men, men that uh, talk about the truth are misogynistic. And yet a lot of their values, especially in their career with her doing OnlyFans, is kind of like is hypocritical and preaches the opposite of what she says so she does have an instagram 16.6k followers kind of a vampire freak also the girl next door 100 percent she's not she is the girl down the fucking street at 1 a.m not the girl next door the girl next to the pole i'm telling you you don't see she's not the girl next door she's the girl next to the bus stop at 1 a.m telling you you don't want this type of girl in your life and then she has all her links and which has her twitter and such and such and her only fan so she is a cute girl i'm not gonna lie but i always say don't date a complete fucking retard like it's okay to be autistic but there's just levels of like autism where you're just like jesus christ i could talk to a wall and have more a uh, meaningful conversation uh she does have a twitter she does have a tiktok not too active on it she seems like a lazy human just because i'm looking at her social medias and typically i always say girls that have only fans should probably treat it like a job and if they do treat it like a job again like the last girl i reviewed they post every day on instagram they post every day on tiktok they post every day on twitter they're very active and in her case like i said it's typical to see this with lazier girls that probably get shit handed to them obviously with the fresh and fit clip you can kind of see that she's not used to accountability she's probably used to having things given to her again pretty privilege is a thing so let's just get right to only fans so right when you get it, it says come have fun with your vampire freak next door i don't understand the whole vampire thing she's not looking like a vampire i don't see the vampire teeth i don't see the vampire cosplay i don't see anything that's like playboy cardi fucking vampire-esque i don't understand why she's saying that so again maybe she just lacks maybe she doesn't know what a vampire is that's what i'm guessing uh, and then she has this page is protected by anti piracy agency the copyright of this blah 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 rule of thumb if the legal uh you know pretense is longer than her actual description and only fans and what she offers guaranteed dbd dumb bitches she's a fucking retard it's a horrible description again tell us what your product is giving us it doesn't take a freaking genius to be like okay description you know i should probably put that i suck dick i should probably put that i get foot jobs i should probably put that i post every day again simple bullet points and the fact that she only has this vampire freak next door and i don't see any helsing vampire type shit again dbd horrible description and typically it's 20 dollars a month i did get it for 30 again 20 dollars a month is i think overpriced 5 to 15 dollars is always a good price anything after that you better have it like a fucking job or an actual good product because again you get a pretty good membership for 20 bucks you can get netflix for 20 bucks you can get a whole bunch of other types of subscriptions uh even like born up premium for less than 20 so again it's just something to consider when looking at this only fans in terms of numbers she does have 105 photos and 27 videos in terms of photos if you want to see some tits of her you're gonna see about like maybe like 15 percent of nipple the rest is pretty instagram like pictures cool she's hot cool she's flexing her lifestyle cool she's flexing different outfits but if you guys are expecting to see anything crazy you're not but again i don't blame her or anyone else because i always say pictures are pretty weak i always say it's just a lack of taste and a lack of work when a lot of her pictures are in Stinger, i'm like cool if you have nudes awesome but again don't make your only fans have the majority of photos and a very small fraction of that to be videos because again that doesn't really detail a good product now for the videos, the longest video is 37 seconds long. Next one's 29, 22, 19, and the majority of her videos do fall between the zero to 10 second mark. Absolutely pathetic. Uh, again, I, and I've said this so many times, just you see this with pretty girls, right? Not just in OnlyFans, in real life. Like you, if you go out with a very pretty girl, 
she's gonna put minimal effort because she's used to other people putting effort into her same thing with these type of only fans girls i'm pretty sure she has a whole bunch of simps which enable this type of content for her to be like oh wow this guy said shaking my ass changed his life or me shaking my tits for two seconds long this guy said it made his day better i should keep doing it uh, again, it's both people's fault because she probably has his ego blown up by the simps and it's also her fault because she should not even her like anyone sh uh, should understand what work ethic is right i always say everyone should at least work a shitty job in their lifetime to really understand what it means to work hard work 40 hours a week you know suffer and struggle through all that now, in terms of the content, uh, again, it's a lot of her just showing off her body. It feels very TikTok-like. If you're expecting to see a lot of solo play, any BG, any GG, any type of crazy type of videos, you're not seeing that. It is a very PG type OnlyFans. Sure, you do get to see her uh, shake her nipples for a little bit, but again, that's not the majority of her content. It's just her showing off her body and doesn't really feel like an OnlyFans. And last but not least, she does have something in the DMs right when you get it. It says, hey, baby, thanks for subscribing. This is your first opportunity or gift. If you like every one of my posts, here you'll get a free month's access to my page as a way for me to say thank you i mean you could give a uh, year's access to your page it's not gonna make a difference that's how garbage it is i honestly would forget her page i honestly would be like what the fuck if i see a picture of her i mark i'm gonna mark it as spam because again very instagram like just let me know when you're finished and i will check it and send it baby every month i give out a free month to my top subscriber friend so i'm just gonna comment saying yo gang I saw you on Fresh and Fit. <clears throat> I hope you learn how to read and write. Um, read and write. This will help to have the building blocks of critical critical thinking, and hopefully, you can be able to. Put the square peg into the square hole. So again, shout out to Dora Explorer. She should be good. So we, you know, we should recommend that to her. You should watch Blues, <clears throat> Clues, and Dora the Explorer. You, comma, you will learn a lot. Trust me. Obviously, I know my grammar is not perfect here because I'm a lazy piece of shit, but. Uh, yeah, let's see what she says. A lot of people typically uh, respond eventually, and I always find it kind of entertaining to go back to the DMs and because they're not used to probably having to troll in their DMs. Again, majority of people that do get OnlyFans are simps. They're some normal people like me, uh, and obviously, I think I'm an outlier in the terms of me trolling all these girls. So overall, the OnlyFans, worth it or not, it's complete garbage. Don't spend it for 10 bucks. Don't spend it for 20 bucks. It's definitely one of the worst OnlyFans I've ever seen. Doesn't have a good description. Sure, she's a cute girl, but obviously, let's be real, she has an OnlyFans. We expect her to get fucked. She's not doing any of that type of content so really there's not much point in getting her only fans unless you want to troll her uh and i think it's definitely worth reviewing this only fans in my perspective so i can tell you guys to save money use your money for something else use it for a gym i don't know get a fucking daily double mcdonald's which tastes just as good uh and you could do something with that it's like always guys i do appreciate watching this video again sorry if i sound sick or dead or have aids uh i don't sound as bad as having dbd we'll put it that way uh but definitely leave a comment below for any suggestions i'll go for in the description i do take every single request if they have an instagram leave their instagram it's easier so i can actually show you guys who i'm talking about and definitely hit that like button and also i always say this if you're gonna beat your wife if you're a sadistic killer and you're gonna beat someone up if you're gonna beat up a bully or maybe you are the bully and you're gonna beat up a kid at school how about you beat up the sub button and help a brother out and hopefully we get 20 billion subs by end this year and if not i will kill myself